what I'm reading in the first several plus headlines is generically about the economy, that it's coming back, but it's nowhere near where it needs to be, nowhere near the goals that will satisfy the Fed potentially pulling back some of these programs. And I think that's a huge way to think about it, because as you look at the markets right now, twos, tens, thirties, yields are creeping up just a little bit, dollar index not moving so much, but it makes sense in a way because the market seems to be at odds with the Fed. And lately, when the Fed seems to talk or you get Fed speak out there, it actually seems to firm rates up, which is very counterintuitive to a Fed that likes to sprinkle all the sugar around. But see, sometimes a little too much sugar in the context of the global central banking system just might not be exactly where it needs to be. Even the European Central Bank seems to be more at a tipping point to acknowledge maybe they've done enough, maybe it's time to look at the economy and know that there's going to be some horsepower here. And maybe the biggest issue, the biggest issue is, is that maybe the Fed ought to speak out regarding how many job openings there are. 8.1 million when the centerpiece of not being where we're at is that we haven't brought back those 9 million workers. Tyler. Back All right, Rick, let's get uh, further reaction and news about those very same minutes from Steve Leisman, who's been digging into the Fed minutes. Steve, what do you have? An emphasis still on job recovery as much as anything else? Yeah, and I'm going to disappoint those who look for Rick and I to disagree because there's nothing I'm going to tell you about the details that contradicts Rick's 40,000 foot view, which is a Fed that's holding pat. Uh, and seeing no reason, at least when they met in April, to change their policy whatsoever. Indicators of economic activity, employment had strengthened, they said, but and the sectors most hurt by the pandemic did show improvement. However, uh, inflation had risen, reflecting, they said, transitory factors. They expect to maintain an accommodative stance until their goals are achieved. They did look for progress on vaccinations uh, to limit the risk to the outlook, but the economy, uh, both the uh, uh, it's in, it was far from its employment goals and its inflation goals. I'll have to dig in a little deeper, Tyler, see if there's anybody there agitating for what Bob Pisani is agitating for. Well, of course, it's the people he's talking to, which is some kind of earlier talk about taper. But I'm not seeing that in my initial glance at the minutes here. It's full steam ahead. But just a quick bit of context. This meeting took place before the employment disappointment and before the much higher inflation numbers did come out, so they're a little bit stale in that regard. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.